All right, we're going to do a quick little boot demonstration of the toaster PC. Which I made, and hopefully you're reading the instructable about right now. So here we go. I do have two monitors. I guess you could call that a monitor. Um, the main one's down here, and then I use the TV as a secondary. But as I move in closer here, basically what we've got is toaster with a little Zotac motherboard inside of it. Let's see how close I can get here. Probably just barely see the RAM in there. And uh, so those are the RAM slots there. And if I get over here, and you can just barely make out the, the CPU heatsink there. There we go. That's about as close as I can get for focus. So yeah, then we got our our little SATA connections there and you can kind of see through there all the connections in the back so there's HDMI, there's optical audio there's DVI for the other monitor I have about a million USB ports back here let's see uh, not sure if I can get a good shot of it but and it has a lot of features. It's a good little motherboard. I really like it quite a bit. Um, I've got my main boot drive here. It's a Western Digital Raptor. So that's hooked up with Serial ATA. And then I've got my 4TB RAID. That's degraded right now because I don't have enough Serial ATA ports on the little motherboard. But I'm going to remedy that with an eSATA port, which is on the back. All I had to do was buy a $5 cable. That's in the mail, so that should be any time now. I'll be able to hook this top drive up, so that'd be really nice. Um, the other thing is, you might notice there's no um, DVD or Blu-ray burner. Um, I took that out of my old PC, and it's sitting here at the moment. So I also bought another cable to adapt this serial ATA connection to USB, um, and that should allow me to hook up my burner as a USB burner. It's another $5 cable. You can find them on eBay for super cheap. Of course, they take forever to ship because most of them are from China. But overall, um, I'm pretty happy with the little thing. Once I get it all hooked up, everything will work great. I did get my media card reader hooked up, so that's why I'm transferring this video with right after it's done shooting. So that, that does go right to the toaster. So anyway, overall, let's see this thing boot up. So right now there's no power button, but the header for the power is these pins right here. There's actually two pins in the back. But I'm just going to use my cyber tool <laughs> that I've had for a million years to touch. So let's see if I can get down in there. There it goes. Good news is the hard drive is making enough noise that you can really tell when it turns on. So you get this nice little screen. And I should probably turn this TV on. Now let's just sit back and watch the watch it unfold here. So there's Ubuntu booting up, running 10.10. There we go. Oh, I got a login screen. So as you can see, everything is working swimmingly. And this thing actually plays movies really nicely. So I'll go ahead and demo that after I log in. Super secret password. So there we are. We got my dog in the background. So let's run over. 
There's my mouse. No, seriously, I think I finally figured out my problem with women. The capybara is the largest member of the rodent family. So, there we are. What does that have to do with me and women? Nothing. It was a desperate attempt to introduce an ultimate As you can see, it plays beautifully smoothly. My problem is I don't project confidence. So, so this is through the HDMI on the little thing. It's an Intel Atom processor with an NVIDIA chipset. So, I'm extremely happy with it. <laughs> Um, there we go. So, if you're looking to build a toaster PC or or any other low power PC, uh, make sure you get the NVIDIA Ion chipset. And uh, I can highly recommend Zotac. This is a wonderful motherboard. It's Z O T A C. I believe this is the Intel 330AE model. You can find it on on Newegg right now for about 155 bucks after rebate, including the processor. So, really, all you had to buy is the motherboard processor combo. Find a toaster case in a thrift shop somewhere. Um, I really like these old style ones. This is a, a 50s Sunbeam toaster that is totally awesome. You can find one in good condition with it's all reflective like that. That's that's really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, the only couple parts needed, you need some hot glue for the feet. So I'm just going to zoom in on that real quick. I just hot glued the motherboard in there. Um, I did have some standoffs that I put on it first. And then those served to hold the hot glue to the casing a little bit. Um, I did try welding the standoffs because I thought they were steel. No, they were aluminum and they melted promptly. So, hot glue works pretty well. It holds the motherboard in there, and that's all I really care about at this point. I might try to secure it in there a little bit better with some actual screws later, but for now, it's running. It's been running for a couple days like this. I can watch all the HD content that I want. Um, I watched a Doctor Who special last night, Christmas special, so that was, that was nice. But anyway, if you're into this kind of stuff, the one thing I would, su I would suggest is... Um, if you do this design, add some LEDs and power buttons to the front. Obviously, mine's a little hard to turn on, but that could be very easily remedied, and I plan to do that very soon. Uh, and have fun. Don't hurt yourself. I don't really see how you really could. All right.